Hello YouTube and welcome back to another episode here on The Richter Show. And today we're actually going to be reviewing the best western. Specifically the one that's actually located here in Daytona Beach, Florida. Now I have actually stayed on a lot of best westerns. So with that said, let's get right into it though. First of all, I want to give you a tour around the actual uh, room that I got. So as you can see, this is actually a very nice room, very big, very spacious. There's a lot of places where you can put your stuff. Uh, there's actually a closet on this side. Uh, the bed's big enough, it's comfortable. Even though I'm staying by myself, I actually like to get a queen size bed. I just feel more comfortable on these. Uh, there's a really nice balcony as well. Uh, you can actually sit outside if you're with a partner, enjoy the sunshine since you're in the sunshine state, obviously. And there's a little nice area over here where you can actually sit. There's um, tables, chairs, and you also have a little mini fridge, obviously the TV. You have a nice clean bathroom. Um, they have amenities here as well. Now, let me actually review the uh, Best Western, uh, specifically this one, and I also want to generalize in, in the fact that I have actually been to a lot of them. So with that said, um, I have to say that Best Western is actually one of my favorite hotels to stay in. And there's a couple of reasons why. Um, number one, it's not expensive. Uh, number two, it's not the cheapest either. So it's one of those that it's right smack in the middle and it gives you everything that an hotel actually should give you. I mean, it's got a good credit card with a good sign up bonus as well. Uh, I'll get into that in another video, but I enjoy Best Westerns. They're, there's a lot of them all around the US. Um, there's also some international and it, you get good quality service, you get uh, a good room, it's nice, it's clean, it's tidy, it's perfect for what you need. And also what I like, which I've mentioned a lot on other videos, is that um, you want to try to get uh, hotels with free breakfast. So the Best Western does give you continental breakfast. It's simple, but it does the job, you know, it gets it done. And that's one of the things that I really love about coming here to the Best Western though. Um, it's actually a really nice hotel. Like I've already said, it's not expensive, it's not cheap, it's right smack in the middle, and it's perfect. So if you're looking for five stars, um, Best Western is not gonna be the hotel to come to, but if you also don't wanna stay in a hole in the wall place, then hey, this is the perfect hotel to stay in. Now, I'm not being sponsored by them. I'm just giving a review. And since I've been using them for so many years, I continue to use them every time possible. Uh, I really enjoy coming to the Best Westerns uh, if I get a chance to do that though, and if it's convenient within the area to stay in. Now, this one specifically is actually um, right next to the airport. And it's something that I sometimes like doing, which is staying really close to an airport because when I finish a flight, I'm actually really tired. I don't wanna waste time. And since it was about seven minutes away, I went ahead and I booked it. And the same thing actually when I come back because um, I don't wanna be in a rush always. And maybe there's traffic, um, maybe I gotta drive a long way. So when I go back, uh, to the airport. It's very simple because I just have to drive seven minutes back to the airport. Um, so in this one, um, the check-in process was actually very easy, very simple. Just show your identification, uh, the credit card that you paid with, and that's it. They get you checked in, you're done. Now, I've been staying here for a couple of days and I really enjoyed my time here. Uh, I'll show you a couple of clips of the places uh, they do have conference rooms here. Um, there's a pool area. There's a lot of space. You can walk around. You don't have to stay in your hotel if you don't like to be feeling like you're claustrophobic. And I like the balcony. That adds a lot of value to it though, because some people don't want to be staying all the time inside of the room. And that's a way to still be close to your room. But uh, anyway, uh, I'm going to rate this uh, best question, specifically this one uh, here in Daytona Beach. I'm actually going to give it a four out of five stars. Now, the reason I'm not giving it a five star is because it's not a five star hotel. But if you're looking for something that's 
right up your budget, this might actually be a five star for you, all right? But since I have to also take in consideration all the other hotels that I go to, uh, I'm gonna rate this a four. It's pretty high for one of those intermediate um, hotels. And I know that they have also like a Best Western Plus, I think, or Best Western Express, I have to look it up. Um, I'm actually really looking forward to go to that one and check it out. And maybe that would actually boost this rating to a five star. But Best Western, if you're watching this, I actually enjoy coming to these hotels. If you wanna sponsor me, uh, let me know. Uh, I do recommend to all my subscribers to stay actually at a Best Western. It's one of those hotels, at least in the US, where it's perfect and it's right up the budget that you are looking for. You get the comfort that you need and you don't spend so much on it and you don't have to worry about staying in a very uh, not luxurious place. So if you wanna stay at this hotel, I totally recommend it here on the Richter Show. We love it. Um, and I've stayed here with friends and family members as well. So it is friendly for family and it's a friendly family environment as well. So I'm gonna see you guys on the next review. Uh, I'm actually off to a wedding. Anyway, thank you so much for watching here another episode on The Richter Show. And I'll see you all on the next episode here on The Richter Show. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you wanna see more content like this. See you on the next one. Shout out to the host of The Richter, The Richter. This The Richter Show, The Richter Show.